Okay then, I uh, guess it's time to do the second video on uh, SNES 9X and maybe Visual Boy Advance if I don't take too long. So um, hopefully you're joining in on this video after watching the one on FCE Ultra. But uh, anyway, let's get started. So uh, obviously open up the SNES 9X folder and then of course start the EXE file and the window will be a little bit differently or excuse me a little bit bigger than what the window was in FCE Ultra but that's okay then first things first let's load ROM and so obviously go file ROM <coughs> load ROM or whatever like I just did and then browse to where your ROMs are and as you can see the open ROM uh, uh, windows a little differently or a little different excuse me than what it was than what it is in FC Ultra obviously they're two different emulators um, let's just open the first ROM here and by the way um, memory type interleave mode video system etc um, I'd leave all that at default um, unless you're having a problem with like the NTSC PAL difference in a ROM or something like that or whatever I just leave it all at default um, anyway let's open up Let's just open up this one, the very first one, Donkey Kong Country 2. Again, it's running a little slow because of a combination of that and Camtasia running in the background. Um, let's do the first thing we did with FCE Ultra. Let's configure the keyboard so it's fairly comfortable to play even though the SNES controller is sort of an awkward shape to be applied to a keyboard um, we still want to make it so it's somewhat comfortable so I use the SD and X and C keys um, so B would be like X and then A would be C um, Y would be like S and X would be like D um, start would be enter, select would be let's see uh, shift I guess L would be shift, oh no can't do that let's do select is the control L is shift, R is number pad zero alright then oh, Oop, I jumped the gun a little bit Pretend you don't see that first file, because th this is like my third time creating these videos because my screen recording software kept messing up. And by the way, you um, when you play games, you want to go into the game settings and make sure they're set on stereo for optimal recording. Okay then. Oh man, looks like the buttons are a little awkward, but that's that's okay. I'm not really playing it. Um, with SNES 9X, you also have save states, except you have like save state slots instead of files. Well, actually, technically they are saved as files, but um, you really can't net access them from the program itself. Um, you have to save it in a slot and then load that slot. So where we're at now, let's just save that. It says save Donkey Kong Country 2. Oops, I died. So let's load that again. Let's see, I'm back at the beginning of the level. Um, see, for the same, basically, that's helpful for the same reasons as I described in FCE Ultra. Um, you can create these save game positions, or slots rather, at the various points in the game and then reload them if you want to record video footage from a certain spot or just to help you play through the game it doesn't really matter although I highly recommend actually playing it like on the virtual console or like um, through like through a real NES instead of an emulator because it's very awkward playing it on a keyboard or if you have one of those USB controllers too um, 
those would also work. But still, I recommend playing the real deal instead of trying to play it on an emulator if you can find the game, or if you have a Wii to da that's connected to the internet and can download it through Virtual Console. But at any rate, though, um, Record AVI, uh, it's in the same spot. You can uh, go to File, Record AVI, obviously. You've been staring at the File menu for a long time now. Um, let's put it in the Demonstration Purposes folder. And again, I use full frames uncompressed because we will process this later. And uh, there will be no sound when you record in SNES 9X. Like I was saying with um, FCE Ultra, it's not here to be pretty. It's just here to make sure that um, you know how to record video footage from emulators and that... Uh, basically yeah that and also you know you will again like with me you will have no sound so um, just make sure you show what you're supposed to show in video and um, just go with it because there will be sound in the AVI file but anyway I think that's enough for now okay now then um, let's close SNES 9X because there's still one more thing that I want to do. First, pretend you're not seeing this. It's because I forgot to do something. Okay then. Now, say you have... Well, actually I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Sorry. It's a little late at night. See, it's... 30 in the morning so anyway though go back to the save states page on Zofar's domain and look for SNES SRM we unfortunately ZSNES as far as I know last time I checked doesn't support uh, recording AVI files um, and unfortunately they don't have like SNES 9x save states on here however um, they do have SNES SRM files which are saved battery RAM states or just battery saves what you do is first of all you want to download the zip containing this SRM file And of course, you always want to uh, read the description too. This says this is a completed save file. Ignore that stupid FRM file. I don't even know what that's supposed to be, but it doesn't do me any good. Okay, we've extracted it. And let's go back to the demonstration purposes folder. DKC2. Okay. Now you want to take this SRM file and cut it, or you could just drag and drop, whatever you want to do. But anyway, just get it into the same folder as the ROM. Then note the ROM's file name, that this is a file or ba say battery state of and then you want to rename the SRM file to be exactly the same except for the extension mm, looks to me like they're exactly the same so, um, go back to the SNES 9X folder and fire the emulator up again. Then reload that game. And wait for it to get past all the introduction screens.
and there you go now you have the entire game opened up to you now ideally when you first start a game that wouldn't have been there before the only reason it was there in the beginning is because this is like my third time making this video since all my screen capturing software keeps crapping out on me um, for example like one reason this is a, like a perfect example of why you'd want the game opened up to you right away because this should look familiar so like if I was to make a video about the history behind the the Bramble Blast music that plays in Rumble Falls and Super Smash Brothers Brawl then this would be the perfect example of a use for downloading completed save files because I was able to go straight to it without having to play through the through the game that up until that point but anyway enough of that uh, um, one other thing I fr I realized I forgot to mention before I started talking about recording AVIs is the sound um, playback rate you can jack it up to 44 kilohertz if you want um, it makes it sound a little better or you can keep it at the default of 32 kilohertz which is I, I guess the uh, standard SNES frequency um, basically this causes a slightly minor inconvenience when you're processing video later if you keep it at 32 kilohertz but if you have a slower computer or like a lower grade uh, sound card or whatever that makes crackling noises or something at 44 kilohertz and you might want to downgrade to 32 um, basically whatever you have selected that's what the frequency will record at when you record your AVI so I mean just just use whatever works best to your computer it doesn't really matter I guess uh, buffer length that's how far behind the audio plays or I, I'm not sure maybe I'm wrong it's either how far ahead like it stores the audio or far, how far back behind, I don't know, whatever. The point is that the, the longer you have this buffer length, the longer delay between the action on the screen and what will play in the audio. Um, again, you're going to have to adjust this accordingly for your computer. Uh, I left everything at default and it seemed to be playing okay, but there was a little bit of crackling noise in what I was hearing, but I think that's because Camp Stu uh, Camtasia Studio is taking up a lot of my computer's processing power at the moment. But anyway, that pretty much covers SNES 9X. Um, I wish I could see how long I've been recording. But anyway, um, whatever. 